Hallelujah. God is good. All the time, God is good. I want to use this time to thank every one of us in the parish, my sisters, my mothers, my father and the Lord. May Almighty God may continue to let our year in the name of Jesus. Last year we are here, the same time, and this year we are here again. And we shall be here next year in the name of Jesus. Sickness, property, will not be our in the name of Jesus. And I want to use this time to thank our shepherd and the Lord, our shepherd. If you are good, you are good. Why am I saying this? We thank God that we did not bury him last year. The prayer warrior, we are here on the 27th of December. The small tar is in that behind the, the, put, the pulpit. I always, when we do the prayer, I always at the back. He was called the surface there. He fell down. I rush. I don't know how to do this. It never happened to me before. The first thing I did, I started crying. I tried to carry him. I told him, Sheba, is that a covenant with God? Is that covenant? I had, I, he, he doesn't know. I'm, what, I'm asking God. Is that the covenant you make with this, this gentleman, the, the shepherd? And the church? I burst to cry. I don't know what to do. But God's so kind. Mother Zelensky, I just said, uh, they are experts in those things. How to do the thing, medical something for, for him. Mother Zelensky, uh, our, I was there. I can't do anything, I was just crying. Because I don't know where to start. That was my second time in this parish. Today, he's still living with us. Every, every parish in America, they want to see him. Even if you send someone to uh, any, any parish in America to represent him, they don't accept you. It's what I've done before. It was that time, they said, okay, go and represent him in uh, New York. They just they look at me as like a small boy. Nobody recognizes me. They don't even greet me. I just I don't I don't care. I went to the other sit down with them. But all they want to see is shepherd. That's why I say if you are good, you are good. My first time, my first time crying in this church was when we moved from that place. From two five five to five, here. Why am I saying this today? We shall witness next year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing will happen to us. We will not die, but we will come to live in this parish. There was a woman that time. We want to move the other to this parish. I think Abigail. Abigail was the one last time. That, okay. We are trying to do the demonstration room for her. The woman was in the church. is doing protection. On Friday, Shepard told her, Madam, you have to suspend your protection for now. Go to your house. Because we are moving the altar from that place to this place. She said, I'm not ready to go. You ready to go? Okay. Forget about it. That was Thursday to Friday. In the night, the angel visited her. So, in the morning, call me, call Shepard. Said the angel come last night, they beat hell of her. She's still living today. She's still in America here. So, no argument again. We just pack our thing and leave. 
Say you don't want to die. So, as we finish the altar, myself, shepherd, there's a lady that usually come here. They call her Tasha. And uh, Esther, Esther, Esther James. We have a long sofa we put outside that day. We are just joking. We have finished what we are doing. We have done everything finished. Shepherd went to spirit. He starts giving message about himself. About me. I never knew him anywhere. We met in this parish. You know, when you are giving message, you don't know what I was talking about. But somebody you are giving message to, he can understand the message. And when you come down from spirit, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He told me that message. If I fight him, he's going to kill me. The Lord will kill me. And if himself fight me anytime, God will kill him. I keep that thing within myself for good 10 years. I never discussed to anybody. But I didn't tell him. But I always keep myself from small, small problem. But each time you tell me, don't get annoyed. Don't get upset. Why am I saying this? One of our songs last Sunday, Friday, he was talking about Holy Spirit. If you are in this parish, if you are in this celestial church, I want you today. We are going to a new year. Start praying now that God should continue to reveal himself to you. When you, see, when, when you start seeing God yourself, nobody will cajole you. Nobody will tell you lies. Because if they tell you any lies or give you a wrong message, you go back to God and ask God. And that's why I told one of one of people here. It's a leader in this church. I said, if a shepherd gives you a message, you are a leader in this church, if you are not satisfied with that message, go back to God and ask God. God will interpret for you. I'm begging us. We are going to a new year. The two lessons, the aroma is the same thing. The song we are reading, the song to us, 429. I came from palace. I came from king family. Why am I saying this? It's in that lesson today. When, whereby, the Israelite people, they continue to worship idols. Where I was born, I'm telling you in that house, the old house, where were I born? All this image, we are born in that house. There are, are more than 10. At the entrance, when we enter all the rooms, there, there are a lot of things there. But it's vanity upon vanity. There's nothing there. All that we have is God. One thing I thank God for today, the whole house has been destroyed. Because all the, our young generation now, nobody wants to be a king. Every one of us run away. So nobody, all those people, they all died. Because there's nothing there. At the entrance, there's an image there. The very brown all, all the rooms there, they are, they are all, Mama will know. I'm from Modelu Laro. What am I bringing to you today? Don't let people deceive you. There's nothing there. So let us hold fast to God we are serving. There's nobody can save for us. No king can save for us. No pastor can save you. But only God can save for us. Back to shepherd. Sometimes we make an argument. I will tell him, shepherd, is that statement you are telling me, is it from God or from you? When he says from God, I back up. May God help us. Today, yesterday was telling me, uh, maybe you see one of our elders can represent him somewhere. I said, Japan, you are the God, you are the one that God called. When you see Holy Fito, you can tell him, it's none of my business. You are the one that God called. So if you cannot do your business, leave your business for them. May God help us. Why we are going to a new year? I want us to renew our spirits. 
the two lessons he's teaching us. When we are having some problem, where do we go to? We go to go up to God. It's only God can help us through our prayers and through holiness. When our father is praying this morning, he said one prayer. All this mouth we used to destroy people, we destroy people with our mouth. And at the same time, that mouth we used to pray. Where does that prayer go to? No. My brother, the Lord, my father, the Lord, we are going to a new year. Let us turn to a new life and live a good life. May God help us. I just want us to read the first lesson for us, Hosea 10, from 1 to 12. For the sake of two are just coming, let us read it fully. So I'll pick one of two things, then I'll talk about it. Hallelujah. I also want to go to open Exodus 20 for me. Exodus 20. I just want one, two, three, and four. Let's read it so that I can compare with that lesson. Exodus 20 from one. Exodus 20 from one. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. God bless, sir. We are done. That is, that is the basic of that lesson. Hosea. Hosea 10. When Israelites were, when they are in problems, when they are confronted with problems, God see them through. Then, if I said they will not go, but God know how to deal with his people. And now, the same God that rescued you, now, you forget about God. I'm asking today, it is time for us to seek the Lord. You don't seek any image, no other God than the only one God we have. When they are in problem, the same thing happened to us if you want to apply to our life today. The same thing happened to us. Many in Nigeria, many in, Afri in Africa, I say, whoa, in Asia, some people who worship God, who believe in God. Do not know I believe in God. I'm going to America. I'm going to abroad. When I get there, I will worship God. I will this and that. But when you come to America or come to Canada, what happened? There's no God again. It's double, 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 double. Money, 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 money. And where is the money now? Where is the money? By the time you pay this and pay that, you don't have anything. You don't have anything. But with God, when you have found your God, God will bless you. Before, in celestial church, when you have a sister, whether family or no family or friend, even though you're not a friend, when you enter, this say hallelujah. Hallelujah is a very good hallelujah. But today, some people will visit you and say hallelujah, don't even answer. Because you don't know whether I have to go in the pocket. You will say hallelujah. 
So by, for you see, you, you, are, you are not preparing yourself. So by not answering him, or uh her, -huh, you have prepared yourself. If you had if anything wrong with him, you'll be able to tackle him. I'm begging you all today. It is time for us to repent. Let's come back to God. And that's what happened to the Israel people. And we are the part of them too. If you look at that lesson, let me 12. What is it talking about? I don't want to read it. I just want to talk about it a little bit. Many of us we have had a farming. We have physical farming and spiritual farming. When you see the ground, look at the fruit here. Many of us we don't know the process. How it got to this stage. A farmer will go to the farm, he will till the soil, then you now go back to God for God to bring rain. Then we terminate. So you cannot do it without God. I'm begging all this man, it's time for us to change. He said he, he wants total re repentance. That can change our life. And secondly, Whatever we are doing today, like the song, we are going to sing that song. Let us in Babel sing to our children. Somebody was here, something happens sometimes when people tell you their own problem, you yourself as a human being, mother and father, you learn losses for it. Our children of these days, I want us to, every family, let us pray for all the children. I know the end time is coming. If you go to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 there, I want to read it for me. You as a father and mother, you struggle, 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 and send all the children to school. And now after you finish school, you cannot help your dad. You cannot help your mom. Sometimes myself and Chepa and other leaders will talk about it. Sometimes I get, I get, I get mad. I get mad sometimes. When your parents teaches you, put you on the right way, after your school, yes, we have culture in Africa. Every one of us here sitting we send money to people to help them. We have a lot of work to do for our students this day. Second Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1. Thank you, man. Hallelujah. 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 The song says, do you
Alleluia. Alleluia. I'm begging us today. We have a lot of job to do. We have a lot of job to do. Train our children is a very good thing. Now, this man I'm talking about the family, this guy is getting good, good money. When I say money, he gets good money. I, if, I, if, I, if I say the name, that would be not good for me. This daughter go to Nigeria in a year, six times. But never give one dollar to the parents. That is why I said, go when you get home today. Second Timothy chapter three, go and read it very well. The end time is coming. I, I left Nigeria for long, but any time I call Nigeria, I call my children. Where are you? You ask. You are home. They know me. I'm a lion. I will never tolerate it. On Sunday, no. All these things is very important to us. If we are not be doing it, let's just start today. We are going to a new year. I want us to read the new things. We want Some people, when they take phone, ah, you don't see that man? Ah, he's offering thanks. Maybe God has answered his prayer. Is that your business? When somebody is offering thanks to what you say, what God has done for him or her, and you are talking at the side talk that maybe God has blessed her. Is that your business? It's not your business. All those small things define our prayers. We met somebody yesterday with a partner in Wusa. He said, he said, let's say he knows before. We don't need to revive all those things. When he said Jehovah, you have, you have the price answer. But today, everything's jam apart. Different things are carried to the church. But I thank God for our own church. This church didn't take nonsense. And that's why. God Almighty supplement the parish. And we continue to live in the name of Jesus. Let us go to the second lesson. That's first Corinthians, second Corinthians chapter nine. I want somebody to go to Proverbs eleven for me, twelve. Second Corinthians chapter nine from one. Let's read first for those who are just coming in.
Tout à Alléluia. 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 I will just take that verse 6 and talk about it. He said, a cheerful giver. Today, we are talking about America. We are in America today. If you see many houses today, at this time around, and I thank God, I thank God as well too. Uh, this parish, is, we are trying our best. I may go to help all this parish. I remember two weeks ago, we are doing Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Yes, God, God has provided for some people. They bought us something and they give it to us free. And God going to bless his church. Now, you see some houses, sometimes you see a container in somebody's houses. You see food there, you see people line up and collect food. There's one home here very close to us in the church. Yesterday, I saw a, a long queue of people there. What are they collecting? They're collecting food. So all these things matter for us. If you continue to do it, the more God will continue to bless us. But if you tie our hands, ah, I don't want to do it. You cannot get anything. You can't get anything. That is what apostles teach them. The Corinthians. When you give, in return, you get it. When you invest, you carry your money, you put it back there, you don't invest it, the money stays there. But when you invest that money, it will, it will profit you. You get something back in the returns. I thought how it is. Brother Lord, it's time for us to help. Anything you can do, do it for them. Anything that need anything, provide for them. And may God continue to be with us. I want us to just go through the verses of uh, Proverbs Proverbs 11 for me. Proverbs 11, verse 24. And somebody will open Galatians, Galatians 6, 7. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 So, that's just it. I think I'll, I'll preach it when I, one time here, will leave it all. God will, God will, God will bless him. When they are in that church, every month we are paying $1,000. He is the one that wrote the check. He will wrote check the $1,000 for me. I will go to Warwick Avenue and pay the man there. The owner of the house, that 525, belongs to somebody. He never wore wear two suits in his life. He only wear one suit. Tomorrow, you will see him in the same suit, same pants. Unfortunately, he died. Though the whole house is hiding from them to become the family. The least you can do. Start doing it now. We are going to a new year. And as we are celebrating Jesus Christ, we want to celebrate our Lord, our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ again. Our focus now should be on new things. What is that? I said, um, Book of Isaiah 9, what does it tell me? Isaiah 9. Verse 6. Okay. 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 Hallelujah. We are celebrating our Lord Jesus Christ now. We are remembering him in the grave because of what has done. He left a good legacy. Nobody knows the time and hour. Let us start a new life now. Let us have a change. Let us come back to God. Also, I said it. And here in the second Corinthians, he's telling us. There's one your Bible for Bible says. Only whatever you get, whatever you give, uh, whatever you, you plant, 
And if you look at the fact, it's, it's also in, the, in that, that lesson. I don't want to go much on that. Too. Osea. Is there too? If you read the Bible very well, when you plan evil, you get it back. It's a matter of time. And there he said it in, a, in a Exodus. Generation, generation, generation will suffer it. I have seen it. And believe me, I have seen it. In my time, those days were very small. That man, if you want to do any ceremony, big one, that man will bring rain for your family. It will rain. And then you go back to him and beg him. He will stop that rain. You think he has power? When he died, he grave like a, it's like a pool. His grave is like a pool. Because the rain continued for him too. All those he has done, he got it back. Bring the Lord, I'm begging out today. Let us have a change of life. Let us leave everything to God. No man can do it for you except God. We are all talented with one thing in this parish. Whatever God has given to you, next year, 2024, I want you to start using it for God. It doesn't concern me. That will be an opportunity in the name of Jesus. We are part of this parish. We are the owner of this parish. So we have to do the right thing for us. So to help us for one and help us chapter two. He cannot do it alone. Your contribution, my contribution, we are police parish. Next year, we are going to be the hall. When you castle, walk ball. Castle, walk ball. When you fell in love. Kagba, Kagba, Dura. Nina, Gogo, Kateri, Bafo. Show me and you today. There's nothing God cannot do. But you have to ask and stand holiness. Yeah. 
Second day, I took another one. That one is hundred years. She's not using glass or nothing. He says he's just going for dentists. You are hundred years in years. Ah, when I'm going to, I'm, I'm you're between sixty-six or seventy. He said, my, my, my son is older than you. He said, I've been a Caribbean country for years. He has a big business there. But when you get to work, you come back to America. He said, my son, I want it from you. What do you want from me? Don't let anything bother you if you want to live a long life. Don't let anything bother you. Anything they do to you, rub it and go away from it. If you, if you put your mind, it will shorten your life. God will grant us long life. All those small, small things is very useful for us. When I look at some people, ah, I will kill you, I will fight you, I will fight you. Your, your beep is high. I mean, I'm, I'm not agree. I would agree totally. Uh, it, go, it will go back to your heart. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. But it will go back to your heart. You see, when you get to bed at night, you cannot sleep. You roll about left and, and right. May God help us. Galatians 6, verse 7. Okay. You see, if you look at that lesson, Osea 10, and now go to 2 Corinthians, you see, you repeated the same thing there. So if you say you are wicked, you get it back. If you sow a seed, you cannot plant uh, uh, coconut and get cadaver. So whatever you do, you get it back. May God help us. Let us stand up. I want